I'm sorry that this is like the most awkward angle. Like you're right up, whatever. So it's 90 million degrees out. I am here at my photo shoot. I'm just waiting for my client to get here. I wanted to chit chat just a little second. Based on the vlog that I posted, I got a lot of messages from my friends. Hey girl, I am right there with you. Being a good mama makes me a terrible friend or being a good mama and a good employee to whatever I do or a good business person, whatever the case, makes me a crappy friend. A lot of people, I am like so shocked. I literally thought this only happened to me. A lot of people came to me and was like, I have lost so many friends because I'm too busy being a mama, wife, business owner, whatever. I don't want to say job titles because I don't want to give away anyone. And I feel like some of the job titles are very specific. Out of respect for everybody who reached out, I just, I was so like taken aback by that. It's especially mind boggling when it's like mama to mama and this happens. Like it's one thing if it's an adult, knowing adult life is hard and adult life is like, taxing on your time, energy, priority. When it's a mom, it's like really someone who understands how busy mom life truly is. If you're watching this and you have friends that have been too busy for you and you feel like personally upset about that, I've been there too. I've been personally upset that friends of mine haven't reached out. You know, the phone works both ways or plans haven't been made. And see, that's where I struggled was with my pride, with understanding that and being that empathetic and compassionate and understanding friend that is like, they've got life going on. The world doesn't revolve around me. I just want to encourage you, like if you're struggling in that mental space with your, like your relationships with your friends, I encourage you to show a little bit more grace, show a little bit more understanding. If you've got something that's bothering you, reach out. Don't let your pride cause a conflict where a conflict should not be. If I would have let my pride, my own just like insecurity and bitterness take me over, take over like my friendship, I would be without a lot of friends. When I first got married and had Lillian, I didn't really get out much, but I got out a lot more then than I did years after that. For a little while there, I was just like, man, nobody calls me to hang out and nobody texts me to hang out. Nobody calls me and, and tells me this, this, this and this is going on and it's like you wouldn't have gone so I get it I completely get it I have been there and I have been on both ends I've been on both sides I never treat my friends crappy I never went off on them like I never did anything like that it's something that I internalized but I also internally corrected myself and checked myself because at the end of the day my relationships with my friends is far more important than being right being the center of their world being an adult is hard enough when you feel like your friends don't have your back like that's a really hard Hard thing. It's hard to go through life feeling alone. It's hard going through life feeling not alone. I know this is kind of all over the place, but this is this is coming right from my heart. I have had so many people reach out to me. These heartfelt, broken-hearted stories. All of a sudden, it's like because they become a parent or a busy insert job title here. Whatever has their planner full. You see those memes all the time on Facebook. That's like you prioritize what you care about. And while yes, I agree with that 100%. However, your friend should not have conditions. I will be your friend or I will continue being your friend if you do this, this, and this. That's not how friendship works. That is not friendship. That is not the meaning of true friendship. True friendship is someone who's going to have your back when you aren't lovable. Someone who's going to have your back when no one else will. Someone who you can call at 3 a.m. even if it's been three years since you last spoke. Your life is falling apart and you need somebody to talk to. That friend's going to pick up. That friend's going to drop everything to be there for you. That's friendship. Friendship and love no no conditions and should not no conditions no bounds <laughs> I just wanted to share all of that. This is something that I have personally gone through myself, both the better I'm upset at my friends. And it's not like they're doing it to be jerks or they're bad people. I would be an idiot. I would be a complete and utter fool to think that my friends are terrible people because they get caught up in taking care of their own responsibilities in their lives and going to work, having a busy work schedule and having kids and having kids in extracurriculars. I was so salty about that that I painted the picture of my friends to be that of an ugly shady one so I will end this sweaty tangent with this if something bothers you your friends do or do not do reach out to them communicate communication is key if you don't communicate what's bothering you what can be fixed any healthy adult relationship whether that is friend marriage whatever communication is key if you don't have communication what do you have if you cannot communicate that something is bothering you offer that other person the opportunity to fix it or to address it or to even just simply say, 
I didn't realize I was doing something that bothered you, I'm sorry, I'll do better. Show your friends some grace. Having that feeling that your friends aren't gonna be your friends because you don't check off this checklist of, oh, I have to text you every day. Oh, I have to call you every day. Oh, we have to make plans every single week. I didn't see a lot of my friends for several years. My best friends, people that stood right beside me in my wedding that were there the day my first daughter was born. These people were there through the best times of my life. And we went years without seeing or even speaking to each other on a regular basis. And those are still the people that I'm gonna call when my life is falling apart. Those are still the people that I'm gonna call when I have something big to celebrate. Those are the people that I'm gonna call when I actually have a free night out and I can actually do something. If you feel like that's your friendships, talk to your friends about that and say, look, communicate, show grace, and don't hold your friends to an unrealistic expectation when they have their own crap going Going on the world does not revolve around you anyway I'm sweating my butt off because I turned my car off like a smart person so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get me a hot Highlander grog it's gonna be delicious but it's air-conditioned in there so it'll be fine because my client's supposed to be here any second true friendship knows no conditions period